down, Eddie. Get him down.
Tremendous victory. Had, had you gone after him, had, had you deliberately uh, tried to keep the ball to his right uh, and drive the ball at him? Uh, definitely, most definitely, because uh, I've actually faced him three times prior to this tournament. And uh, the first two times around, I wasn't uh, very victorious because he has an excellent left, as you can see. Right. Uh, but my idea uh, was to come in to expose his right hand like I did in the last tournament that I beat him in. And uh, doing so, uh, you, you can see that I uh, emerged victorious. Uh, he tended to set me up a lot with his right hand, which is why uh, I chose to go that way. And uh, I was able to just pull him off the court with uh, to the left side. and. Even if he were to return it, he was way off, way off court to, for him to come back into the game again. That's, uh, that's yeah. how I managed to beat him. He was trying to overplay you to the right, but still you could not pick up that uh, serve to the right. It was amazing. Well, I, I presume he, he noticed that every time he would uh, serve to my left, if he didn't manage to get a deep court, I, would able to, I was always able to hook it towards his right. So he would expect a shot actually it would come down left court, but then all of a sudden he would run into it because it would hook towards the right side of his body. So he would never be able to get a good shot at it. Now in so. previous games, I saw you emphasize the hooks. You've got a tremendous uh, arsenal of, of hooks. But in this game, you, you try to run it with speed. Uh, is that right? Well, uh, yeah, that uh, has a lot to do with it. I guess that's why a lot of my friends call me Fast Eddie, but uh, <laughs> I really don't think so. I, I think it's good anticipation. Um, you know, able to track down shots, of course, is one of it. But uh, good anticipation is the key, really. I mean, uh, experience, you know, you gain that through experience and everything. So. Now, I, I, I noticed you stayed, away from the, you stayed away from the volley, especially the high volley. You try to kill everything. Yeah. Is, well, that's main, my main objective is to try to get the volley done as quick as possible. Is, is that because he's a, a, a tremendous uh, on the volley, on the high volley? I think uh, if it came down to a volley, he might be able to over-endure me. Uh, so I've, been, I've been I've been volleyed before. I re really tell you the truth. I've never really tested myself under those kind of uh, conditions. But uh, my game is to get it down as low as possible, where I can attack. That's my game. Is the low game. I, that's where I feel more comfortable at. Now, on, you know, as, as you look into the inner experience of what you went through there, you got a little irritable. Is is there a kind of attention and alertness? 
that uh, creates a kind of irritability that you normally haven't got because you're a very civil person. Yes, I, I try to compose myself as much as possible on the court, uh, but uh, of course there's always a few times, you know, when you do, you know, blow your stack a little bit. Uh, but uh, I'm able to shake one point off at, at a time, you know. Uh, I'm the type of player where, uh, all right, I'll get upset a little bit, but then I, I know from experience from watching uh, people like the likes of uh, Ruby Ober who's standing next to me and uh, all the old, old timers uh, I've learned a lot from them and uh, they've always told me you got to take one point at a time and uh, if, if there's a call that you don't like you got to know how to shake it off and that's what I try to do uh, all the time so. uh, have, have you found certain emotions in, in yourself in the course of a game that surprised you? Uh, I tell you the truth, yes, nothing please. nothing surprises me about myself anymore. You know why? Why? Because every time I play and as long as the competition is there, I give it my 100%. And I've told everybody that I've come across that as long as you give it that 100%, there's no telling what you can do. So to tell you the truth, nothing really seems to surprise me anymore about myself. <laughs> because, you know, the, the whole attitude is giving it your all. And uh, I've made extraordinary shots that when I see it in instant replay or, or when I see it on the videotape again, I amaze myself sometimes. But at the same time, I say to myself, no, you know, I, gave, I, I got that shot because I deserved it. I gave it 100%. So there's a tremendous amount of uh, focus that you have to bring to this game. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. I tell you the truth, I shut myself off from the crowd uh, when I play my opponents, especially in a tournament game. You know, I really don't play for the crowd. I play for myself, you know, and for the competitiveness. But I saw you in a previous game with John Bike uh, uh, and a few other players. You know, you're very polite. I've never seen you really blow up. No, well, I try not to. I, 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 I'm the type of person that I, it's just a game. I mean, I can't say it's just a game. It's not just a game, obviously, not to me. Uh, but it it is a game, and you got to know how to take the good with the bad. And you know, there's no there's no necessity for uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on the court, really. You know, but on the other hand, the kind of unnatural attention that you paid to this game in your life. It sort of puts a certain amount of commitment to playing it as well as possible into it, right? It's almost a ferocious uh, quality that you have inside yourself? Uh, well, I, it's all, I mean, everybody likes to be a little competitive, you know, you know I mean, a little competitive, and uh, I think that's that's where, really where it emerges from, I mean. Uh, How does it feel to be a winner after, uh, after playing several times in the tournament and your first, this is your first singles championship. My first baby. singles championship, that's correct. That is it feel? actually doesn't, hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> but it feels good so far, you know. Everybody, I, I'm looking at everybody, everybody seems to be happy. At, so I guess I, I have a lot of fans out there, you know, and uh, it feels good about that, but it really hasn't sunken in quite yet, you know. Okay. It might take a little while. Well, thank you very much, Eddie, uh, and, uh, and good luck. Uh, in your next events. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, Eddie, thank you. Thank you. Hello, young fella. Nice to see you again. How about going to get a copy of that one? How much time before the doubles? Did they tell you? Uh, John Bike here. He's a wonderful player. He's a many time uh, champion at uh, Four Wall, and he's down here in New York City. He's come all the way from Arizona. John, how does it feel to be around these garrulous kind of Damon Runyon, uh, strange maverick types that <laughs> to have to hang out in Arizona all your life? Uh, I, you know what? I've been all over the place. I grew up in Connecticut. I used to come out here once or twice a summer, and I still do, and I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, now, I noticed that uh, how you play one wall is, is you've got this tremendous hey, power, and you hit the ball harder than I... I think about anybody else, but ha ha have you had certain problems because you're expecting the ball to hit the wall? <laughs> yeah, my, my instinct shots is my problem. My instinct when I'm in trouble in four wall is to just lift it and put an angle on it so I can catch a side wall. And that don't work here. That's and we haven't got a ceiling. No ceiling either, right. Right. And uh, I have to change. It's easy when you have time to think about it. It's easy to change your shot. Yeah.
but if you're just uh, balls just at you, you don't know what to do. That's that's what I'm just adjusting to. I, I got to try and hit a straight shot or something like yeah. that. I don't have that. But I I saw you in 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 the doubles match. You uh, really got uh, uh, extremely focused and way down. It's as if you took your anger and and you put it into a cold kind of a focus. And, am I wrong about that? A lot came together in that match. That, that team had beaten Eric Klarman and I 11-10 two years ago, and I was really wanting to get him with Kenny. Uh, and then I think that's I'm, I'm learning the game as I go along. I think I was happy. I thought I made a lot of good deep court shots, nice safe taps and lefts, as you say. I thought you did. Uh tremendously but it's almost as if you were discovering the power of the drive in the singles match because ordinarily in a, in a, in a four wall game the shot would be going off the back wall and it would it, it would be a setup for somebody you right. know but here if, if you if you drive it past and that's it you're right uh, finding the right height for pass shots if i could have done that with eddie in the singles yeah yeah and I know in my first doubles match too, I, a couple times I was driving it too low and they right. jumped on them. If they drive it a little higher, it's on them too fast. And I, I'm trying, I'm learning that too. Yeah, and, and with the speed that you hit the ball, they really can't react and no time to react. Yeah, it's a good yeah. good strategy out here. So you're learning the game as you go along, huh? Exactly, yeah. 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 Now, how, how do you feel about the ambience? There's a kind of a suburban ambience, isn't it? A four wall, as opposed to we we've got a little of everything. I also I play four wall all winter and three wall all summer, and between one wall and three wall, a four wall. I think I've gotten the pleasure of meeting just about every type of person there is. So in in general, four wall is more low key and indoor suburbia. Yeah. But we've we've got our there's something for everyone in all forms of the game. Right. Now, as you're out there, I see you focus, and sometimes you're a little irritable at yourself. It's almost as if you're two people and you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I got that from my dad. I always thought that was normal, but now I go to these tournaments, and it turns out me and my dad are the only ones doing it. So. <laughs> Well, I saw Eddie doing it also. Yeah, I don't know he, who maybe picked it's it up contagious. first. No, I've, I've always done it, and uh, I talk to myself more than most people. It's, so it's as if you have a superego, a conscience, uh, it's and, as if, and, and they're speaking to each other. How does it feel inside? It's probably what most people are able to contain and do to themselves, <laughs> and I just like to yap, so I'd say it out loud. Okay. Now, is there a level to the sport where you discover all kinds of emotions that astonish you that you didn't think you had? Oh, exactly. I, when I have people, friends of mine at work or friends of mine out of handball, they come watch me on the court and they just can't believe it. They say, Johnny, I've never seen you yell like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> never seen. Yeah, handball brings it all out, no doubt about it. Now, have you found that a quality of being a little bit of a, a ferocious individual is preferable in this game? It's I'd say to each his own, I'm, if you can harness it, you know, I've had it work against me and I've definitely had it work for me and it's it, a matter of managing it. It seems to work for you. I mean, I can't believe how well it well, works I, for Well, I've been competing now for almost 15 years and learning from my mistakes, so now it usually works for me more than it works against me. Yeah. Are, are you going to use that uh, driving shot a, a lot more in the future in uh, One Wolf? Yeah, that's that's my talent. That's uh, I figured that out. I played a one wall tournament three weeks ago, and we went right through a pretty good double seam in the final. And I just figured out I'm gonna hit the ball a foot and a half high and hard down the middle and see what they can do with it. Okay. Okay, John Bike. Thank you very much. All right.
Seven, four. Over. You have one full. Thank you. 